everyone i hope you're all having an awesome day this is going to be my first main video after the change and i will put the video i will put the link to that video in the description below Today I'm going to show you how to set up an Apple Time Capsule using a Mac 2018. For those who would like to set it up using iOS device, I will be making video later on about that, along with factory resetting your Time Capsule, enabling Time Machine backups and lot more. So basically, this is going to be a Time Machine series. Uh, so to start off, the first step is to power up the Time Capsule and connect an Ethernet cable to it. Uh, just as a side note, you won't get an Ethernet cable with Time Capsule, so you will need to purchase that on, like a separate. Once you've successfully powered up the time capsule, you should see the green light and then an amber blinking light. Once you see that, head over to your Mac to start the second part, which is configuration. Once you're on your Mac, go to Wi-Fi and look for Airport Time Capsule. It should be all the way down. Once you find it, click on it, which will open Airport Utility. However, if you don't see Airport Time Capsule, make sure your Wi-Fi is on and the time capsule is powered up. After, time, uh, after Airport Utility opens, it will start to prepare your time capsule for setup. Uh, after that, after it's done the prep, it will ask you to enter the Wi-Fi password. This password will be used to sign into Wi-Fi and also for your time um, time capsule login. You can change the password later in the setting, so I can even make another video for that. However, once you're done, press next and it will ask you for your ISP information. If you have this information, you can fill it in, but and if you don't have it, you can just press next. Now it's just asking you if you would like to send information to Apple. Uh, it's really up to you. If you would like to, you can. And if for me, I'm just going to press say don't send and press next. Now it's going to create your network. Uh, just as I know, this might take some while. So please make sure you don't turn off your time capsule or your Mac. After it's done the setup, it will turn back on and you should see you should be able to see your time capsule under internet but you will see a red dot with the number two inside what it is saying is that there are two errors we can click on the time capsule and then on the status to check the errors to fix the uh, to fix the errors make sure you have the pop-up open and then click on edit after that you can see the different tabs on the top or going to the open the network tab then where it says router mode uh, open the drop down and then click on off which is basically turning on bridge mode then click on update and continue your time capsule will restart and then there should not be any more errors. If you do see any errors which you are unsure about then you can contact me and I can try to help you out. Also only do these steps the turning on bridge mode steps if you see any errors. If you don't see any errors there is no point of doing any of those steps. Now once your time capsule is back on and connected you should see a green dot beside your time capsule name. This means that there is no more errors and everything is working fine. Now just to show that I have internet access, I'm going to open up Safari and open YouTube. So as you can see, YouTube loads up. So this will conclude today's video So on how to set up Apple Time Capsule. I will be making another video on how to set it up using iOS device, uh, factory resetting, how to set up time machine and all that stuff. So basically series. If there are any suggestions or changes you might want me to make, please let me know in the comment section below or you can contact me on Twitter. Uh, I will leave the link in the description below. Also, if you like the video, then please make sure you press the thumbs up. And if you know someone who might be struggling with getting their time capsule on, you can share the video and help them out too. Uh, thanks for watching and subscribe if you have not already done so.